Let us now discuss reasons for IVF failure. We understand your plight. If you have been through an IVF cycle and you are faced with a negative HCG report, the earth just falls apart. It is absolutely life shattering. Remember but what was told to you on the first day. The success rate of IVF is just 40 to 50 percent per cycle, which means that if a clinic treats 10 patients for infertility, they could expect 4 at the most 5 patients to conceive even if all has gone well for all 10 patients. What are the common causes of IVF failure? First and foremost is just simple mathematics that it is the chance that the chance of pregnancy is only 50 percent. The next we move on to other problems such as defects in the egg or the sperm. Now these are gamete defects which are not seen on visual inspection of the embryo. So often we would tell you that oh the embryos were very good in quality but still the cycle fails. Science has proved that almost 70 percent of these good looking embryos may in fact be genetically abnormal and therefore do not implant. It is also known that only one out of ten human eggs is usually destined to become an actual baby or a live birth. Then there may also be problems with the uterus and the receptivity of the uterus for a pregnancy. In our country tuberculosis is common and is often a cause for failed IVF cycles. Whatever the reason may be, you need not despair but you must take out time after a week or so to come back and meet our doctors and counsellors understand what exactly went wrong with your cycle, where the problem lies, what could be the possible future remedies or what changes could we make in your next cycle as far as drugs and protocols are concerned to try and optimize your chances in the next cycle. The good statistic is that if you go through three IVF cycles or three embryo transfers with good embryos in a good IVF clinic, 70 to 80 percent chances that you will achieve a good pregnancy and a live birth. For the remaining 20 to 30 percent, there are other options. As per the doctor's advice, you would probably need a third party ART procedure, either a sperm donation or egg donation or an embryo donation or even a surrogacy.